hello. Fancy seeing you here. Hey, when you want the taste of the good life, you can't go past things fresh from the land. Fresh moo juice, fruit from a tree, garden vegetables straight from the ground, and from the hive, honey. Yum. Honey. It's a natural sweetener. It's been used for hundreds of years as a treat, as a medicine, and as a sugar alternative. And it is delicious. Mm. Excuse me. Well, we all know that honey comes from bees, but why does a bee make honey? Bees make honey because they want to make the honey for the honey for the people. It's their food and they want to eat for them to eat. Bees make honey because people like honey so they can give it to the queen. So they can use it for when it's winter to eat and feed their, their larvae for them to eat. So that when they have babies, the babies go eat the honey that they made. Bees make honey to eat. Bees make honey because it's sweet for them. Hmm, maybe. Bees and honey. You know, I really need to have a closer look at a bee to investigate further. And that's where you come in. It's your job to catch me a bee, okay? Oh, go on. You can do it. Oh, please come. Okay, right. We'll use this bee. A bee is an arthropod, which means it is a creature with jointed legs like crabs and crayfish. It is also an insect, which means it has six legs like an ant, a beetle or a fly. A fly has only two wings, but a bee has four. They also have amazing mouth parts. Strong jaws called mandibles and a long hairy tongue that laps up the nectar. It doesn't have a nose, it has air holes along its body. Its front legs have three brushes on them, one for collecting pollen. Beneath these stalks here, the flower's stamen, the flower has a factory. And that factory produces a sweet secretion mm -mm, that we call nectar. And nectar attracts things like bees and wasps. Bees love to travel. They can travel as far as five miles from their nest to collect nectar. You know, that's a lot of time in the air. Hey, do you know where bees go to the loo when they're traveling such great distances? A bee pee station, of course. All right, we're on the Honey Highway. This bee is winging his way home, not only covered in pollen, but full of nectar. Which is stored by the bee in puku number one, its honey stomach, which is a bit like a storage bin. Puku number two is its stomach for digesting food for energy. You are never alone in a beehive. Oh no, you've got hundreds of neighbors. It's very cozy in a beehive, so it's just as well that bees are known as social creatures. Let's party, let's party. Bees are also very busy creatures, and they have the tendency to change jobs at the flap of a wing. Let's start with the job of the scout bee. Buzz. It's the scout bee's job to buzz around and scout out the nectar. Once the scout bee finds where the nectar's hanging out, it notifies the forager bee. Buzz, that's me, forager bee. <laughs> the forager bee forages around for the nectar and collects the nectar and takes the nectar back to the hive, where it is received by the receiver bee. That's me. Buzz, I take the nectar from the forager bee. Buzz. All of these jobs are in fact done by one bee known as the worker bee. Four hard jobs here and I'll do them all. The worker bee also needs to babysit the baby bees, clean and build the bee hive, guard the entrance and 
mind when it's hot in summer become an air conditioning unit? It flaps its wings like this to create a breeze. But there are other bees in the hive. There is the drone bee. A real drone bee whose job is pretty cozy. The drone bee just hangs around until he gets to mate with the queen, queen bee, which really is a bit of a buzz. And then of course there's the queen bee. Ahem, hello. And it's the queen bee's job to lay the larva that becomes all the baby bees. Whew, and all that happens in the hive. Bees spit up the nectar into wax cells, like this half wax cell here. You can see right inside. The nectar would go in there and the bee would leave it for the water to evaporate, for the nectar to get nice and thick and concentrated. When that happens, it puts a wax cap on top of the cell, like all these cells are covered in wax caps. You know, I think it would be a good idea to go and have a look at a hive in action, but I'm not about to stroll up to a beehive in this lot. No way! Beekeeping is a specialised business. One that requires specialist clothing. Down to business. This is a beehive here. I give it a wee bit of smoke, and that's to calm the bees down. I'll knock some of the bees off. These cells are open, you can see the honey inside. These are capped and they have honey inside them too. Ooh, you see it oozing out? Yum. And it's all one big cycle. Find nectar, collect nectar, store nectar. Find nectar, collect nectar, store nectar. Find nectar, collect nectar, store nectar. Find nectar, collect nectar, collect nectar, collect nectar. Oh, amazing! You've heard of the bird dance. You have the disco dance. And you have the bee dance. Eh? Yes, the bee dance. Scout bees tell foragers where to find the nectar by doing a little bee dance that involves a lot of bottom wiggling. Okay, I'm a bee. In fact, I'm a scout bee and part of my job is to dance on the honeycomb to show the direction the foragers need to go in. The bee dances like this to communicate and also because it's a real buzz. But do you know why bees make honey? It's not just because humans like me love to eat honey. Bees eat honey too. In summer, when the flowers are plentiful, the bees buzz around the flowers collecting nectar that they take back to their hive. They carry it back to their hive in stomach number one and they let a little bit of nectar go back into stomach number two for food and energy. Well, now we've reached the end of the show, perhaps I should mention the end of the bee. And it's here, the bottom of bees and wasps that should be avoided at all costs. This is where they keep their sting, and it's their only way of protecting themselves. Well, wasps can sting you many times, but poor old honeybees can only sting you the once. Their barb at the end of their sting gets lodged in your skin, and the only way they can get free is to tear their rear end off, and that means the end of the bee. So, there we have it. And I'd just like to give a wee thanks to our honeybee for working so hard. Honeybee, you are a real winner. Bees are known as social creatures. a jointed, a jointed creature, but it's a creature that has jointed legs, sorry. <laughs> hey mum and dad, thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.